If you're a bushwalker, then you'll probably know the feeling well. You've headed off the beaten track. You've got the compass in one hand, the map in the other, but you have absolutely no idea where you are. Well, now there's no need to ever get lost again. This handy little device here is the lost bushwalker's saviour. With a simple push of a button, it tells you exactly where you are to within 100 metres. It's called the Global Positioning System, or GPS. It gives you longitude and latitude, even altitude. Now, let's see. That must mean I'm right in the middle of this picnic ground. Ah, that looks familiar. The unit finds its location using 18 orbiting satellites, collectively known as NAVSTAR. Like electronic lighthouses, these satellites broadcast a continuous signal carrying precise information about their ever-changing positions. The GPS unit only needs to pick up simultaneous signals from four of these satellites and it can calculate its own position to within 100 metres. The GPS system was developed by the military and can actually pinpoint position to within just a few metres. But for security reasons, the satellite signal is scrambled for civilian use. That's why its accuracy is reduced. A big pity, because otherwise it would have a multitude of applications, not just in the desert, but in many urban situations. The GPS system would be the perfect tool for street navigation if you could only overcome the degraded signal. One Sydney company's developed a system based on GPS units for monitoring a whole fleet of vehicles. They're called Mobile Track, and they've written computer software that overcomes the scramble in the satellite signal and retrieves five metre accuracy. Imagine the advantages for the owner of a large fleet of, say, courier vehicles. If you installed GPS units in your cars, you would know the exact location of every vehicle in your fleet every minute of the day. In Mobile Track's fleet management system, the information from the GPS units in the cars is sent back to a central monitoring base via radio signals. A computer collates the information and combines it with a digital map of the city. The South Australian Transport Authority was so impressed with the system, they recently signed a contract with Mobile Track to monitor their city buses. The STA is particularly interested in developing more accurate timetables. In some ways, it's a little frightening knowing just how much information can be so easily gathered using this system. For example, it'd be very easy to check if any of your workers were making any unscheduled stops. 